welcome back to home ground. He is undoubtedly a huge superstar, one of my favorite South African athletes. He leads the Proteas bowling attack across all three formats and recently became the latest South African to cross the 100 test wicket barrier. Last year, he became the first man ever to scoop six gongs at the annual CSA award at only 22 years old and already with the world at his feet. The sky is the limit. Welcome, KG Rabada. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm good. Awesome. How about yourself? I'm very, very good. KG, I'm so excited about this interview because I remember when you popped onto the scene and everyone was like, all eyes on this 19-year-old kid at the World Cup. Then you get sort of your call up for the national team um, and playing for the actual pro tiers. What was that whole experience like for you? Has it sunk in yet? Um, I guess it, it will never sink in the fact that you... You know, you kick-started your career playing for the Pro Tiers. I guess for me, when I found out that I was selected for the Pro Tiers, I saw it as like a start mm -hmm. of what I want to achieve. And um, as, as, as time goes on, things happen that you don't plan. Successes happen that you don't really plan, that you never would have thought of, mm -hmm. even though you want to go that direction. And uh, I think that's a bit, those moments don't really sink in. I mean, it's been three incredible years, especially in the spotlight. Was that always the plan? Were you always saying that the moment you got your shot, you were going to grab it and just go full force? Or did you think it was going to be a little bit of a slower process? In my head, I always wanted to get in from, uh, from when I was young. Uh -huh. And it happened, so I'm glad. <laughs> Speak to us about the Bangladesh series, because I mean, that was incredible, complete whitewash. What was going on in the camp? Um, yeah, we knew how, how to beat these guys. They're coming to our home turf. Mm -hmm. The last time we were there, they beat us. Yep. It's not something that uh, we want to, to let slip and forget. So we remembered that and we made sure that when they came here, uh, we're going to have our certain game plans and try execute them to the best of our ability. And we did that. And that's amazing. What, what is it about the sport, though, for you that, that keeps you going? Um, I guess... You always want to achieve more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you, when I first got in, um, I, always, I obviously wanted my, to see myself at a certain platform. Mm -hmm. And I'm not there yet. Um, but I think it's just enjoyable learning a skill and trying to perfect it, just like anything else. What's next for you? What's next? Uh, just hit the training grounds and uh, new heights, I guess. Now one of the matches that stood out for me was, of course, when you guys were, with, were playing England. Um, and then you got suspended. What really went down in that game? Well, what you read, did you, did you read anything yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, what you read happened. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's the truth. I'm not proud of what I did, but, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not chuffed about being suspending and let it, letting the team down, but yeah. I mean, I was being competitive. I guess you have to do it in a different way. Yeah. So that's okay. Look, at the end of the day, we all make our mistakes, and it's not it's not the end of the world. You're still young and with an incredible career, Kaki. So I mean, we look at you, and I just see the hope of of cricket, South Africa. I mean, I see what our cricket is going to look like in the next couple of years. Um, but now in camp, obviously, you've got the new boys coming in. Does that make you feel almost like a senior? Are you are you no more feeling like you're a bit of a newbie, or is it still still pretty much the same? Actually, the guys who are coming in are generally my age. Yeah. Like Andy Lepetukwayo, who I played with at under-19 level, uh -huh. and he's starting to do well. Uh, you got Aiden coming Aiden in. Aiden coming in. We all play together, man. So I don't really feel like much of a senior. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't see myself as much of a senior, no. Give it maybe five years. And yeah. I will. Did you give the, uh, the, the guys a little bit of advice when they came in, just certain teething things that you sort of came across when you got in? Well, I'm not one to impose myself on anyone, but if anyone wants to ask a question, then I will certainly reflect on my experiences. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like uh, myself and Andile, we talk about the game together. Yeah. Yeah. We talk bowling, uh, because I do have more experience. So I try and you know, tell him a few pointers there, but he does everything. Now, to the young boy who's at home, who wants to be you tomorrow or in the next couple of years, what is your advice to them? I mean, you literally got in so young, have been doing incredibly well, and we're so proud of your career, but what is, what is that little bit of advice that you can say that can really push that young guy who wants to see themselves as you? 
Well, if you want to be really technical about it, there's a whole lot of things that you need to make sure you're ticking, like a few boxes that you're ticking. Mm -hmm. But the way it starts is if you, you need to be hungry. Mm -hmm. And when you're hungry and you're curious, you're going to look for answers, you're going to ask questions, and you're going to start getting answers that way by yourself. But um, yeah, basically, if I give you three really important aspects is I guess support mm -hmm. you need to have good support around you you need to have a strong mind in terms of you know, you know knowing what to do and when to do it and discipline but you're still a human you can just still enjoy life awesome well KG thank you so much for joining us on home ground we wish you all the best for the rest of your career because I mean I feel like you've just gotten started and you're gonna hit even more milestones in the next few years to come so all the best and all the rest best for the rest of the season oh one more thing when you're in your off time and you're not doing anything what do you get up to um chill with friends play PlayStation yeah I've been right. playing uh, whilst you were chatting to Shikana. Right. Um, go out, have a bit of a party with my friends. Well, don't worry. We've got some PlayStation. We've got Shikana who'll be performing.